What's up guys, back for another Honkai Star Wheel video in with the good old Goat Joe Q coming up in 5 days and 12 hours. Totally didn't have to double check because I totally forgot. We obviously gotta do a, you know, not a should you summon. I know a lot of people are like, should you summon? Because you normally do that. No, we're doing a team guide this time around. Now this guy is pretty cool. Um, I don't think he's going to have a ton of value for most players, unfortunately. But... Obviously, we just got to go over it regardless. So let me know in the comments if you are summoning for him, if this video changed your mind, if you're summoning or you're skipping, um, who are you saving for? If you are skipping, let me know in the comments and let's jump in. Don't forget to like and subscribe while you're at it. You know, we, you're already watching the video. If you just hit that button and subscribe, they're pretty damn cool. I ain't got to lie. Uh, but let's jump into the number one character you should be using him with, and that is good old Akron. He's pretty much like... Her support, right? Not only is every time an enemy acts, you're getting a tick for your ultimate. He's boosting damage dealt and ultimate damage. And it's like, okay, bro, at that point, you might as well just say in the passive makes Acheron better, hits harder, gets more energy, all that good stuff. Now, I don't think his buffs are going to be like, you know, causing Acheron to hit like 5 million times harder. But the fact that he does enable her to get her ult way quicker is going to be very, very good. If you're a massive Akron fan, I think you should definitely summon. If you're not a massive Akron fan or don't have her, I feel like his value is just going to go ooh and just drop a little bit, right? Um, other characters that can use his buff are going to be characters such as Yun Li. Uh, now, keep in mind, I'm not going to say that the most optimal team for him is going to be like, oh, you have to run him with Yun Li. I'm just saying, if you don't have other options or you just want to run them, they can work together. Uh, very similar with other characters that do old damage like Zele, Yan Ching, you know, they aren't going to be the best, but he does help and, you know, it, it is going to boost their damage. Um, other characters like Argenti or Ratio would also help. I know Ratio isn't a ult damage dealer, but he still deals uh, damage with his ultimate. Uh, you know, not a ton, so he'll get that from it. Plus, he also helps with damage dealt, which will help Ratio. Ratio also wants debuffs to get more of his buffs off, and uh, Jeff Q can definitely help with that. But overall, the option for his teams aren't too crazy. I'm not gonna lie, most characters here just don't want to use their ultimate for like their main source of damage. Like Don Hang uses basics, Jing Lu uses her um, enhanced shit. Uh, boot hills break so you know that's not gonna help uh firefly doesn't even have an ult um uh, kafka's dot which by the way dot could work for him but you have to get him e2 so i'd say kafka's probably like i don't know at least probably still under akron but you'd have to get him e2 i believe that's the one that makes his fire dot do more damage but other than that i wouldn't run him with dot it's really just not a whole option it's one like full on recommend right that aren't just you can get away with it it's like it would actually be a very good team that you should summon for is just this which is unfortunate and if you're wondering what team you would use for akron i would probably run something like this uh Bronia, where is she sparkle or robin as your support and then Actually, let me do it like this, right? We'll do Akron here, him here, uh, supports, and then the sustains would be here. And if you don't have her E2 and you have to run to Nihility, you could use Kafka, you could use uh, Black Swan, where is she? You could use Pela, uh, and this would work, right? Obviously, if you have, I'll probably actually let's just put them all in one tier, right? your team would probably look something like this you know if you don't have these two you'd probably just use whatever your sustain is it could be you it could be freaking jeopard if you could get away with it right obviously these two are going to be better but your team would look something like this and i think that would be totally fine for acheron for the other teams for like yunli and stuff it probably would just be her normal team of like you know robin sustain and then instead of running like ting yen or ho ho um Speaking that, we'll do that. You'd probably run like this, I guess. Uh, down at the bottom. But 
I mean, you're more than, you're probably just gonna get more damage if you rock Ting Yun and focus on spamming ults, or if you rock, um, you know, like another support if you want to run like, where's she? I uh, run like Ruin May if you're doing like Apocalyptic Shadow and you have to get breaks off. He'll work. He'll get the job done. I think he'll do just fine if you're not looking for like the most optimal stuff and you're just looking to clear. Where did I even put him? I should have him back. He will do just fine in stuff like this. Or in stuff like with like Zele. He'll do more old damage, right? He'll work just fine. I think he is a great general debuffer. But in terms of teams, he really only has one he wants to call home right now. And that is with Akron. Like I said, if you have Akron, definitely just about... I wouldn't say a must summon. But he is definitely a quality of life improvement with getting her ult. I know I've done a bunch of teams like the Fire MC, right? You'd run Fire MC with the Trend of the Universal Market. You taunt every time an enemy hits you, you'd get stacks. And that was kind of like the Speed Akron team uh, to get ult that I could find. But it wasn't optimal, and most people ended up just running something along the lines of this. Maybe stop putting Adventure and Fushuan down. They'd run something like this, right? And then take out a standard. You'd run like Black Swan, Kafka, Akron. Or you'd slot in Pela for like Kafka and you'd run something like this, or you'd run Kafka, whatever it may be, right? Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know, man. <laughs> he, he, very interesting. I don't think he's bad. I, I just want to say, I know I've been kind of just like shitting on him the entire time. I don't think he's bad. I think he will be a good pickup for a lot of people, especially if you don't have a general like debuffer character but considering he has to kind of go against Pela, i think Pela is sort of his kryptonite in the sense of he is going to be doing different stuff than Pela. but if you have Pela already especially if she's e like she's e6 you maxed her out she's like cook like cooking already there's not a whole bunch of reason to summon for him instead unless you're running you have acheron because like i said for ratio you can just run Pela, right? For, oh my god, I keep putting them down. For like Yunli, you could just run Pela or like Ting Yun instead. In fact, she probably would want Ting Yun over her. Uh, you could run, where is Ting Yun actually? There she is, yeah. So like, you would just run like Ting Yun or Pela instead. Um, for Yanqing, Yanqing's kind of, I don't think there's any save Yanqing, I ain't gonna lie. Um, Argenti. I don't remember the actual like optimal Argenti team. I swear it had, did it had? Does it have Ting in it? Someone have to let me know with Argenti, you know, because I don't have Argenti. I've straight up like never actually looked into any Argenti teams. I know what he does, right? Um, so I'm assuming he'd want like Ting Yun, Ho Ho. Um, I know Hanya is good with him. Um, I imagine like Sparkle is good with him because skill points. He's always going to be scanning skill points, action advance, get more skills off. Um, imagine that, but I don't imagine he's going to be making Argenti like king of MOC or anything like that. It just, you know, the alt damage makes sense, right? That it could work with him. But then that is pretty much going to be it. Uh, this video is pretty much just here to say, hey, he's a good general debuffer. But with the characters we have out right now, if you're not summoning to be with Akron, unless you really like the character, I think he just doesn't have enough team presence at the moment now of course if we drop a character and they need something like akron oh he'll be he'll be first to go first off the bat he will be right there you definitely would want to go for him but until then i don't know man i don't know i feel like you know if certain teams with like pela you know if you're using guanifin if they're not clearing in a good amount of terms where they're already clearing in like one two cycles i don't think his presence on the team replacing someone or just being there in general is going to make them like zero cycle or well maybe not i'm not including akron right other teams like oh it's like yun lee he's not going to be making yun lee zero cycle just because he came out and he's not going to be making like a ratio team suddenly hit like the five turns or something like that well Unless you're already kind of close, right? I don't think it's going to be that much of a jump. But let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, do you think I'm being too harsh on him? Do you think I'm being fine with him? Do you think that he'll have a bunch of other teams that he's best in slot on besides Akron? 
obviously when he drops more testing will be required i'm not going to personally summon for him but i do have a friend who's going to summon for him and i'll probably just be like hey can you test this test this test this just to make sure that everything is just about as i thought it would be uh but let me know in the comments what you think of him uh like i said for if you have acheron and you love acheron you definitely want to consider picking this hot guy up he isn't by no means bad um let me go to uh the pride one tier list real quick if i had to put him in a tier right i probably would say he'd be around like here oh you, you can't really see that oh, okay we well, see this i'd say he's probably like tier one several of tingyun level uh maybe if i want to hate enough he'd be 1.5 i think this is a good spot for him i don't know if he'd be in the amplifier tier but like you get what i mean right he'd be around this spot on the tier list at least in my opinion which doesn't mean he's bad obviously you know he's not going to be like robin rune may sparkle level tier but i do think he's a very solid character but other than that like i said i'll stop rambling that'll be it for the video thanks for watching let me know what your thoughts are in the comments and i'll catch y'all in the next one